Hello and welcome. It's time for some Lamentations character creation. So if you didn't watch our previous videos, this is a great opportunity to learn about the system of character creation in Lamentations of the Flame Princess. Now, in Lamentations, it's pretty hardcore and old school. So you only roll 3d6. There's no 4d6, take the best of three. There's no re-rolling ones. It's 3d6 straight down the line. And straight down the line is a little bit different from D&D. &D. It doesn't go physical stats, mental stats. It goes in alphabetical order. So charisma, constitution, dexterity, intelligence, strength, and wisdom. So in another window, I have all of those things blocked out with a table. I will be recording your rolls. Each of the players will roll for the first stat. So we'll start with charisma. You'll see their die rolls. I'll add them up and, and tabulate them on the table. Now, also per the book in Lamentations of the Flame Princess, if the cumulative total of all of your modifiers for each of these attributes is a negative, then you can choose to eliminate that entire set and reroll a brand new character set. But if your cumulative is like plus one, you gotta keep the rolls. I'm offering, because this is, this is uh, my campaign, I'm offering yet another alternative. If the players, by the end of their six ability score rolls, do not like the rolls they have, um, I am allowing a virtual roll option where I will roll in this recording using a dice roller. So those are our, those are our plans for rolling up Kale and Heat's characters. So... Gentlemen, uh, Keith, are you are you ready to start? Do you want to start? I'm ready, man. Okay. All right. So <laughs> let's let's see those rolls. Get ready to put them up to your uh, webcams. Uh, Kale, you'll be next. So this is charisma. Okay. All right. Roll number one. Here we go. Uh, can't see the bottom. So I see three, three, four. What is that? Six. Three, four. Three, six. four, six. Hey, that's pretty good. Nice. Nice. That's not bad. Yeah, Wait, let right. me see if I can give you a better angle here. Uh, Kale, you go ahead and roll yours for charisma. Here we go, Kale. Woohoo! Big money, big money. Two, four, four. That's a 10. All right, good. Next up is Constitution. There we go. Uh, hold on. Four, 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 one. four, one. Okay. That's whack. All right. <clears throat> Kale, Constitution. You. <laughs> Seven. Yeah, Ooh. that's what I'm talking about. You. All right. Yeah, baby. Keith, you're up. This Here we go, man. Come on. This one counts. This one counts. Uh, Two six six, okay, fourteen. Hey, all right, that works. Kale. That works for me. Dexterity. Come on, come on, new dice. Don't screw me over. Oh, they screwed me over. Oh man. Uh oh. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> There's still hope. All right, intelligence. Let's see. Come on, intelligence. Because we all know <laughs> Arizin was not very bright, but no. we loved him. We loved him. Six four two. Can okay. you see him? Yep. Twelve it is. All right. Intelligence for Kale. Oh magic acid. Nope. Ooh, nine. All right. Come on, Kale. So far, yeah. Kale, it looks like you're you're gonna be re-rolling unless you roll an eight yeah. strength or wisdom. All right. This you gotta is sweet the talk them dice, baby. Just, just like last time. Yeah. It's okay. We're gonna do good today. Okay, ready? Yeah. What are we on? We're on strength, yeah. baby. Oh shit. All right, here come the big dogs. The guns are out. Psych. Six. Four, oh my one, god. Four one one. <laughs> oh Jesus. Oh, that's brutal. Okay. Kale, brutal. you're up. Brutal. All right. All sixes. All sixes. I ain't no fighter. Nope. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure you're all going to be re-rolling. I smell a yeah. re-roll. I smell a re-roll. <laughs> okay. Uh, wisdom for Heath. 
Wisdom. This is the money maker right here. We about to be. All right. We, got, we need a new cleric. Come on. Two, four, one. That is terrible. Okay. Kale. I'm switching dice <laughs> after this one. You guys I, both. Yeah, I'm going to switch dice too. Maybe go to the white. Okay, that wasn't half bad. Ivory. I'm going to Ivory's. All right. What do we got? That's uh, 336. 12. That ain't bad. All right. You know what's kind of sad, though? That was literally your best roll. His best roll. I know. Um, it all was. right. Now, now I'm going to add in the cumulative. Okay. So, I'm getting, I'm getting according to dice. while you guys are thinking about other dice, I'm just going to make sure our math is straight here. Okay. So I just I'm rolled a 15 at, with the white I'm ones. I'm looking at Keith. His best roll is a 14, which would give him a plus one. So, 13s and 14s give you a plus one. So, you have okay. two of those plus ones. A 12 oh, doesn't shit. give you anything. I'm going to have to keep them. <laughs> no, I, I don't think you will because you have a six and a seven, which oh. is a minus one each. Oh, so yeah, I'm at zero. Cum- so I'm at so cumulative cum- zero. So, so we can re-roll them. So here's what I'm going to offer Heath. I'm going to do the share screen and we're going to roll a virtual set for Heath. <clears throat> oh, can I pick the better of the two rolls? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hey, oh, that's already nice. better. Oh. Come on, give it to me. Snap. Big dice, big dice. You seem your guy seems to like charisma. <laughs> okay, eleven. That's okay. Uh, That's okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Big money, big money. No whammies. No whammies. Ten for Dex. Yeah. Still, okay. still way better so far. Well, yeah. Way better so far. Come on, you generic dice rolling machine. You come on. 11, 11 that ain't bad. Intelligence, not bad. I'm thinking very specialist. Much, very much above average right now. Very charismatic as well. Yeah. Oh, 15. Oh, on the strength, she... yo. You better come on. I'm coming for revenge. Here's a junior. Oh, you sons of bitches. Arizona's little brother's coming to kill everyone. I I feel like maybe you want to take that virtual set. I do. Yes, sir. With your paladin level rolls of a 15 charisma (laughs) and a 15 strength. Too bad there aren't paladins in this game, but yeah, that's pretty damn good, man. I will keep it. All right. So I got that recorded. I'll recap that for you. 15 charisma, 11 constitution. 10 decks, 11 intelligence, 15 strength, and 12 wisdom. Now, yeah, baby. you can swap one roll for another roll. So, for example, if you wanted more hit points, you might switch your charisma and constitution so that you have a 15 con. Uh, that would give you a plus one with your hit points as well. Um, so that's something you could think about. Kale, let's add up your cumulative. I'm pretty sure it is a gigantic fail. Here we go, buddy. You have on the low end, on the low end, you have a six and a seven, which is a minus one, uh, minus two cumulative. You have your highest roll is a 12. So you you are definitely re-rolling. You are at a minus two cumulative. So um, let's do the physical re-roll. Okay. And what I'll do is is record the physical re-roll. And then, um, and since he's not rolling, you could just keep your, your camera flopped and, and make the rolls. Okay. okay. So go ahead well, and begin your, right. yeah, how, however you want to do it, but, um, we'll have you re-roll starting with charisma. Right. Out of the way. <clears throat> you dice don't fail me now. Okay. That's better. Okay. So that's a 12. Let me see if right? I can hold this laptop at the same time. <sighs> Can't see that top one. All right. So that's a seven. Seven mm-hmm. constitution. All right. Dex. Son of a Hey, there we oh, go. 17 decks. I smell an archer. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see what that intelligence is. Oh. Is that a Those are sixes. Or... 
16. Ooh, I smell, I smell a specialist. Uh, strength. Oh, God. Okay. 13, good. Uh, and wisdom, last one. So four, three, what's that bottom one? Five, four, and three. Okay, 12. That is definitely a for the win. Yes. All right, just for giggles, that's that's an incredibly well-rolled thing. I'm going to give you a virtual set. Hey, I didn't get a second physical roll. <laughs> yeah, Damn because, it. because your first physical roll was good. That's oh, why. okay. <laughs> Mine was absolute dog poo. <laughs> oh, yeah, my yeah. cumulative was zero. Yours was negative two, I forgot. <laughs> By the book, yeah. Um, okay. This will be for Dex. 13. Yeah, I'm thinking that your physical rolls so far are going to beat yeah. out uh, this one. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Maybe you'll be a beast somewhere. Well, no, it don't look like it. Eleven. Yeah, a very a very average character so far, but uh, I yeah. think your physical rolls are going to win. Yes. Yeah, definitely. No doubt. All right, so we'll recap for both of you guys your final choices uh, for Heath. Clearly, the virtual set was the way to go. For Kale, your uh, physical set was the way to go. So um, what we will do next is devise what you are going to keep and what you don't want to keep. So mm -hmm. um, right now, we're looking at uh, straight on down the line. For Kale, you have uh, 12 Charisma, 7 Con, 17 Dex, 16 Intelligence, 13 Strength twelve wisdom. Can you run that um, a little bit slower? I'm, I'm writing down those. Yeah. So so write the numbers down. So or I'll tell you the yep. ability scores: charisma, constitution, 12. dex, intelligence, strength, and wisdom. So it's alphabetical. Okay. All right. So, so you have a twelve charisma, mm -hmm. seven con, mm -hmm. seventeen dex, sixteen intelligence, thirteen strength, and twelve wisdom. Okay, I've got to remember. Okay. Um, for Heath, you have a 15 charisma, 11 con, 10 dex, 11 intelligence, 15 strength, and 12 wisdom. Are so, the 15s plus two or plus one? Those are uh, plus one. So... So just so you guys have an idea, uh, like so for Heath, you can you can swap one roll after your set is done. Um, I I don't know if you had something in mind specifically. Constitution but, probably with charisma. Okay, so so we're gonna make that swap official then, and I will put that in here. And then Kale, you can also swap a roll. Uh, your two highest rolls right now are the seventeen Dex and sixteen Intelligence. Mm -hmm. Lowest roll is the seven con. With the uh, swap of constitution, you wouldn't be losing hit points every level. Yeah, I'm definitely going to put that 16 into my con. Okay. Switch. Now, remember that, that, hit makes points, you, brother. that makes you dumb as hell, though. So I don't know if you want to do that. Mm. That, gives you, that gives you a, a minus one to every yeah. intelligence roll, which isn't yeah. necessarily the worst thing, but... Um, Mm. So the to get a plus one, that's what fourteen or higher or thirteen or higher. Uh, plus one range in Lamentations is thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Okay, so let's put. Damn, that's just a bad rep too. Yeah, I mean the the problem is is that whatever you put that seven in, it's a true dump stat. So it's yeah, more about really how you want to play the character, like. Do you want to play the character? Are you okay with playing the character as not necessarily being the most intellectually smart person that doesn't detract yeah. necessarily from his skills? You know, if you make right. a specialist, it's not gonna, you know, detract necessarily from your skills. Um, in fact, I'll read you what they say about uh, intelligence. Yeah, I'm looking at my PDF too that I legally purchased. 
and it's awesome because the art is way worth the money. Alone. So intelligence is the measure of a character's knowledge prior to the start of play. Intelligence does not measure a character's memory or ability to solve puzzles. It's the player's wits that must be used in these situations. Intelligence mm. modifiers affect the character's ability to learn languages and are added to saving throws against magic user spells. And for magic users, it affects the time and thus expense required to research spells. So honestly, if you made a specialist, it wouldn't matter that you had an intelligence of seven. It basically would mean right. like you grew up on the streets and that you didn't yeah. really have a lot of education prior to that. That's totally fine. Yeah, let's swap that intelligence and con. Okay. So uh, this will be a significant boost to your hit points as well. Yep. Um, I think I'm going to need. Okay. All right. So um, I think the rest of character generation it will just involve you guys filling in the sheets. So we'll do that off of the recording. But just so uh, the, the, the folks watching have an idea, um, Kale, are you, are you pretty solid with going as a specialist? Uh, I'm leaning towards that with these roles, but okay. we'll see what happens. All right. Keith, what's your instinct? Um, you, you, have, you, you certainly have the strength and constitution to be a frontline guy. Um, yeah, I can stick with the fighter class. Okay. <clears throat> All right, cool. Well, we will finish off these new characters offline, and you guys will see them in the next episode of Lamentations of the Flame Princess, the Lamenters. We'll see you around. Peace. It's me, Wizzy. I'm back once again to remind you to subscribe and click on the notifications button and also watch videos that are over there. And then don't forget to tune in to the next episode of whatever show you are just watching and crafting videos and DM tips and pro tips for vlogging and all sorts of gaming things. <laughs>